question number four here um mixing mixing this is a little more complicated now we have ice at minus 15 degrees celsius and water at 60 degrees celsius let's look at what is the enthalpy in our ice and there are actually two steps we are thinking about ice going from negative 15 degrees celsius to zero degrees celsius this is our heat our sensible heat and Zoom, please. Come on, it's not very clear. Zoom. Um, so that is because it's ice. Remember that we are using our heating capacity, heat capacity at um, two point of ice. So that's two point zero nine three, and our delta temperature is going to be negative fifteen. And then the second step of our ice is that we have to go from zero degree ice to zero degrees water. So it's the heat of latent heat and sorry of the messy writing there that's 70 kilogram times negative 335 kilojoules per kilogram so that's our latent heat of from the ice to water and now we can add them together and the total heat um, enthalpy or the heat that is needed to go from the negative 15 degrees Celsius ice to zero degree is negative 2500 roughly. Now we are looking at the second component of this mixture is our water here. Um, water we are going to calculate it in relationship to zero degree Celsius and be paying attention that we are using 4.187 kilojoules per kilogram um, degree as our heat capacity. This is our calculation. And the mixture, the final mixture is the enthalpy of ice and the enthalpy of water. And um, let me, let's leave this for now. And enthalpy of ice plus enthalpy of water, we are going to get positive 1957 kilojoules. Zoom a little bit better here. And because this is a positive number, we will now know that the mixture is going to be water. So it's going to be three to stay as water. And now our, our task is to find out what is the final temperature of this water. We will use the same equation, mass over um, heat times heat capacity times delta T. And of course the delta T will tell us what is the final temperature. Mass here, just one to remind you, is no longer 7 or 18, it's a total of 7 and 18, so it's 25 kilogram. Because we know that this is going to be water, um, the heating capacity that we are going to use will be 4.187. Now, looking at these two numbers to get all these numbers together, so we will have an equation that is 19, roughly 1957 kilojoules will equals to 25 kilogram times f this, and by doing some algebra, we will be able to find the temperature of the final mixture.